watch this question the data is given below solve the uh, solve the problem so they are saying that uh, this is the 16 bit number which is used to represent a floating point number 1 bit is used for sine 7 bits are used for exponent and 8 bits are used for mantissa okay and they are saying that mantissa is a pure fraction in sine magnitude form so you know that a fraction in sine magnitude form right the decimal number this 0 point this one this this entire number is decimal decimal means base 10 has the following hexadecimal representation without normalization and rounding off which means they want to represent this number here without normalization so without normalization means you don't try to change the form okay however whatever the whatever the form you get you are going to represent it so let's see let's try to convert 0 0.239 into binary okay i want to convert 0 0.239 into binary let's see this one 0 0.239 so how to convert 0 0.239 into binary any number generally 0 0.239 plus 0 0.239 we, we add them it is 18 it is 7 it is 4 and i get 0 here therefore 0 will be here again 0 0.478 add them 16 15 9 right 0 is here and then again add them 0 0.956 what do I get? 12, 11, 19, 1. Make it 0. Again add them. 0 0.912, 4, 2, 18, 1. Right? So write 1 here. And again add them. 0 0.824. And what do we get? 8, 4, 16. Right? I get 1. Right here. And again add them. 0 0.648. What do we get? 16, 9, 12. Right? We got 1 here. Write it here and again add them. 0 0.296. What do we get? 12, 19, 5. Right? So, right here. So, let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let me add one more time. 0 0.592. What do we get? 4. And here it is um, 18 and here it is 11 right 1 so i got 1 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so i got 8 8 digits so let me stop it here because uh, if you see this mantissa mantissa can hold only 8 8 digits and they are saying that no normalization is used if no normalization is used we are going to purely represent everything into this mantissa right so all these bits are going to be represented in the mantissa form without normalization so you know i could have even gone further because i didn't reach zero yet it might take few more bits but still we are not supposed to i mean i'm not going there because anyway i'll not be uh, i'll not be writing anything and i'll not be representing anything there beyond beyond eight bits that is why i'm stopping it here therefore mantissa part is going to be I have to write top down from here, right? So 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, 1. This is entirely going to be the mantissa part. Now, what about the exponent part? Exponent part is already given as uh, 13, right? So is, it is given as excess 64. If you are observing this, it is given as excess 64. So uh, 64 plus 13 has to be added. Got it? So 64 plus 13. So the actual exponent that has to be represented will now become, after adding this, it will become 77, I guess. Right? So now, how to represent this one? So how many bits are used for exponent? 8 to this, I think 7 bits. So 7 bits are used. So 64 is nothing but 1 followed by 1, 2, 3. And 13 is how much? 1101 is 13 I guess right 8 plus 4 is 13 and this is a this is entirely 77 I think right 1 2 3 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 to 68 to 14 so 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 12, 13, 14, yes, 7 bits and it is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bits. So I got 8 bits here. So I have to, I think, put 1 here. So 1 
zero zero one one zero one. This must be uh, seven. This must be uh, seventy seven. Let me just check it. Two power zero, two power one, two power two, two power three, two power four, two power five, two power six. Yes, sixty four. And yes, it is thirteen. Okay. So this is the exponent. Exponent is going to be seventy seven, and mantissa is going to be this. And what about this sign? Sign is going to be one. Right. Now we have to represent this entire thing in the given format. What is the given format? Check this. The given format is sine followed by exponent followed by mantissa. So let me put it all together here. Sine followed by exponent followed by mantissa. Sine is going to be one followed by exponent. Exponent is going to be one zero zero one one zero one, and mantissa is going to be one two this one one two three four zero one right. Now we have to express all this entirely in uh, hexadecimal. So if I write this uh, entirely in hexadecimal, or oh, sine is not one, right? Sine is positive. Since the number is positive, given number is positive, right? Sine is going to be zero. Sine is going to be zero. Mm -hmm. And now we have to divide it into four four bits. Four four, and four here and four. Okay. Now this number is going to be four in hexadecimal, isn't it? Wait, how this is four. And this is thirteen, right? So thirteen is how much? A is ten, B is eleven, twelve C D, right? D. And this one is going to be three. And again, this is thirteen, which is D. So four D three D is the number which is representing that one. Got it? So answer is D. So here one interesting thing is no normalization of any sort is used. If we don't use normalization, the problem is for the same number we might get many representations because of which we will not be able to, uh, uh, you know, uh, we will not be able to get or represent lots of numbers uh, using our representation. It is actually a wastage, so that is why we don't generally prefer it. But in this question, they have explicitly mentioned it. That is why we are using it. Okay, and the next question is, see this. The normalized representation for the above format. Okay, they are saying that we are going to use normalization, right? So they are saying that normalized representation is for the above above specified is as follows. So in the B question, next question, they are trying to normalize it. Now let's see how they are normalizing it. The way they are normalizing it is the mantissa has an implicit preceding. The mantissa has an implicit preceding mm, the binary radix. There is something missing here. The mantissa has an implicit one. Okay. The mantissa has an implicit one preceding the binary radix, which means they are saying that implicit uh, normalization is used. Implicit normalization means whatever mantissa is there, we have to put one 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 dot. Okay. Assume that only zeros are padded in. The only zeros are padded in while shifting a field, which means they are saying that now if you are going to shift the field from this representation, if you are going to change it to normalization, and if you are trying to shift the fields, then they are saying that only zeros are padded. We are just going to add zeros and nothing else. Then the normalized representation of the same number, the above number is. They are saying that they are using normalization, and that normalization is uh, you know. This implicit normalization. So I hope you know why normalization is used. See, for the same number, there are various representations going to be possible. Just to avoid that, all the representations we go for normalization. And now they are saying that implicit normalization is used. And from the above representation, when you are trying to go for implicit normalization, just add zeros at the end, which means don't add any, which means don't compute anything here using this. You just stop it here. Get whatever results you got here, right? Till here only. Don't add anything more, and if you want to pad anything, pad zeros. Now I am going for normalization. That too, you know, implicit normalization. I am going to take mantissa, and the implicit normalization is this. See, actually the number is this one, right? Zero point this into two power thirteen is the number, original number given, isn't it? Into two power thirteen is the original number given. Now we have to go for implicit normalization. Implicit normalization means we take the first one, and after that we try to put the zero, which means from here we try to move uh, decimal point till this point, right? So decimal point will be placed here. Then this entire thing is going to become the mantissa, new mantissa. 
Now when you try to move the decimal point here, did you actually increase or decrease the value of the number? We have actually increased the value of the number. Therefore, here you have to decrease it. Therefore, I am going to multiply it with 2 power minus 3. Since we have moved the decimal point, radix point to 3, di 3 digits, I am going to multiply with 3. And since we have increased the number value of the number by moving it this side, I am trying to decrease it. In fact, level it using uh, you know, minus 3 here. Got it? So, the number now turns out to be 1.12301 into 2 power 10. Now, this entire thing is going to be mantissa and this entire thing is going to be exponent. Now, exponent turned out to be 10, but then we are going to add the bias, right? So, bias is going to be 64 because x is 64 if you remember it. So, 64 plus 10 is 74. So, 74 is the actual exponent that has to be represented and this is the mantissa, right? So, now watch it. Now, I am again going to write it. So, sine is going to be positive only which means 0. Okay, and then uh, mantissa is going to exponent is going to be 74. 74 is 1 followed by 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. This is 74 because 64 is this and 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0. Right, and then uh, mantissa is this entire thing. So, how many bits is mantissa there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But then they said that whenever you are trying to shift it, you pad zeros. Therefore, I am going to pad 3 zeros. Right. Instead of padding zeros, I could have computed this number and I could have represented it accurately, more accurately. But then they just said that, you know, just to simplify the matter, simplify the question, they have just given it in such a way that don't add anything, just pad zeros. So I'm padding the zeros. Now divide them into four, four parts. Okay. Now let's see this. This one is going to be four, right? And this one is going to be one zero one zero is 10, which means A. And this one is 15, 14, therefore it is going to be E. And this one is uh, 8. Okay, 4A E8 is the answer. So D is the answer. Got it? Okay, fine.